about to put y'all on to the best guard build on NBA 2K25. As you guys can see, I got two guard builds right here. And I'm about to give y'all the best comp guard for the stage and for the park. So, as you can see right here, I got a 6'2 and a 5'11. And the one I'm about to show y'all is this 5'11. And you're about to see the reason why this is the best guard build in a second. So, first you want to come to a position. Go ahead and put your position on point guard. Obviously, we're making a guard. Um, 5'11 build, just, you know, 5'11s and smaller builds, you know, just, they're getting more attributes this year, so, being a shorter height isn't really a penalty, you don't get penalized for being shorter, for me, we have a 173 weight, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly why we have this weight in a second, and then we got a 6'1 wingspan, uh, so we're gonna have a 69 close shot, giving you flow game, uh, the close shot is gonna be able, you're gonna be able to make the close shots if you go for them, um, your driving layup is going to be an 80. It gives us physical finisher, aerial wizard, float game, and layup mixer. And then we have an 80 driving dunk as well, giving us prof, uh, posterizer and aerial wizard. These are W amounts of uh, using your attributes to both your driving layup and dunk, making you make all your layups and dunks. All right, so for the three, we got a 94 three and all gold shooting badges. Um, you want this, and I'm going I'm to show you exactly why in a second. You're going to be able to make this a 99 and really be the best point guard. But you want all these at, at, at goal and you want a 94 three-pointer. Uh, for the pass act, you have a 76 pass act and an 85, uh, I mean a 95 ball handle with a 95 speed with ball. The 76 pass act gives us break starter and dimer on silver so that you can be able to get good passes and get dimer for your teammates. Then we have ball handle. On 9 to 5, giving us ankle assassin on Hall of Fame and handles for days on Hall of Fame. Then we have strong handle and unpluckable. Now, strong handle is why we had that weight, but I'm going to show you guys what, what like where that comes from later in a second. So, our 95 speed with ball gives us legend lightning launch, making us speed demons, and that's exactly what you want on your small guard. Our interior defense is a 52, and we have off-ball pest. And we only need a 52 because we don't wear guard and we won't be guarding the inside. And I'm going to show you what also helps with inside if you do have to, to stop animations and other things that will make you be able to stop somebody inside. We have a 73 perimeter defense giving us challenger, pick dodger, and off ball. You have pick dodger if you are the ones uh, guarding ball so you can get through screens a little bit better and challenger so that you do get contests on, on jump shots and stuff like that. We have an 86 steal, giving us silver go, uh, glove so that we can steal the ball and and gold interceptor so that we can get in between them lanes. You feel me? Uh, this is a good amount of attributes towards the steal. Um, if you know how to steal the ball, you'll be able to get a lot of steals with 86. Then our block is a 54. Now this also goes with interior defense. If you jump and use your block, you will be able to stop animations and, and guard the paint a little bit. For um, anybody who's not too tall, all the small guards, 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 6, like basically at up to like a 6'8", I want to say 6'8", is where like you probably won't be able to stop them, um, but anyone up to like 6'7", you'll be able to stop them a little bit even though you have these low um, interior defensive block and because together they will stop animations to get you to stop. Uh, we don't really have rebound um, or defensive rebounds on the 33. But then our speed is on the 90, giving a slippery off ball, getting you open. Agility is at an 83, giving you pick dives or shifty shooter, a slippery off ball. Um, your strength is at a 60. Now, this is where we get our physical finisher and strong handles. Um, this makes um, it harder for a defender to stop our dribbles. And physical finisher, we get contact layups and dunks and stuff like that. So you will be able to score through contact with the strength up to 60. And then we have a 70 vertical, giving us posterizer and aerial wizard, making us be able to get through contact, posterizer opponents, and make um, putbacks and lobs at the rim. So this is the best guard build. Now, the shades of this build is Tim Hardaway, Tyrese Maxey, and Trey Young. These are good guards, you feel me? Good, good, good people for our build to be alike. And you have now made a shot creating three level threat. Now, let me go back to my career so I can show you guys what your badge setup will look like to really show you guys how good this build really is. Now, this is the 5'11", and I'm at 99 overall. 
and it's really easy to get your badges as well is especially if you already made a build and you already got it past 90 you get rebirth this is definitely the best build to, to make after a rebirth for sure um, let me come here and show you my attributes as you can see these are my attributes the same attributes y'all seen um but then i do have cap breakers at start of three you get cap breakers and i put them at a 99 three now that 99 three pointer made us have all these other extra legend badges we have legend dead eye legend living it limitless limitless range damn i can't speak legend mini marksman legend set shot specialist and I'm, I'm getting my uh, Shifty Shooter to Legend as well. But you get Legend Shifty Shooter. And then this is also well because you get these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Legend badges for shooting. And then you also get your Max Plus one. And you, I put it on my uh, Handles for Days. Now I have Legends Handles for Days giving us 7 Legend badges. As well as the Hall of Fame Ingo Assassin and... And gold unpluckable with gold interceptor. You have all these badges here as a guard. You feel me? You get all these badges. And then we have gold slippery off ball and all these silver badges as well. Um, this is a W guard build for sure. So that's another reason why you know you should make this guard build and you don't waste those shooting attributes making your shooting a 99 off rip because you can get so much more extra badges once you get the starter. Uh, start at three. So you feel me? Go ahead and make this build. This is definitely a W build. Um, with all that being said, just leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in.